munchkins and viewers alike. It's me, Munchie, your chaotic good here for small animals here on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be discussing with you guys a really cool company that I've been using personally for a long time now. They have made other stuff in the past where now they kind of have found their niche and it is fantastic, especially for Syrian hamsters. So mainly the animals I talk about here are hamsters, gerbils, and mice, sometimes guinea pigs, sometimes cats, but the majority of it is hamsters. And this company, Night Angel, is a hamster company, but they do make other items for other small animals. So today we're gonna be talking about enrichment items or nesting material items as some may see these. Now these are very interesting because a lot of what I'm gonna show you today for the products is seen via reptiles, but people might look at them thinking they're reptile items. Well, in fact, that's, just nature and nature looks gorgeous and hamsters for whatever reason are just pushed towards kids to look cute and cuddly and they have to have a bubbly little castle and like paper bedding that's like blue and purple and all that stuff. People are kind of getting tired of the whole push towards kids and they want a natural setup because people out there don't want to just have kiddish items or colorful items in their setups. A lot of people are modernized. They like neutral colors. They like the birch woods and the forest greens and they want things looking nice. So Night Angel, who is a Chinese company, actually came out with some items and I wish to share those with you today. So first off, let's talk about some dirt, shall we? Now, a lot of the things you might see in this video might already be purchasable in pet stores in the reptile section. While this might be an alternative for people who can't really get those items. I just wanna make a note that everything here can be substitute for something else. However, it's cool that this contender is pushing them towards smaller animals because you don't see other companies do that, not at all. You only see them push out things that are supposed to be for all animals, but they can only be for specifics. This one right here is the Premium Cocoa Peat, country of origin, Sri Lanka. And it says right here, it's four liters. It is plucked, dried up, selected, crushed, begged, and then arranged. And I wanna say, Night Angel, packaging, beautiful, love it. Wow, adorable. And I just wanna say here, it actually tells you instructions on the very bottom. So you can see the beautiful packaging right there. Now, even though this is a small bag and the small bag did cost me, I wanna say, I can't remember, so I'll just post it here on the screen, but it cost me that much for this bag, but it's this premium cocoa peat, 100% natural cocoa. It says it may preserve moisture, so that's something to keep in mind. You don't want to be like with reptiles, misting your enclosure. Your hand Ham Ham does not do well in humid temperatures. So don't be doing that. Let it be dry like you see in this bag here. It can be used as nutritional soil of planting. So when you're done with that, instead of just getting rid of it, you can go ahead and use this in your planters. You could probably even throw it in your yard. <laughs> it is a good selection to create natural cage tour. Encourages the natural digging and burrowing behaviors of small animals. Now this by itself is not bedding. This is not something you need to substitute your aspen wood shade or your paper bedding because that actually absorbs urine and keeps the ammonia smell down. This is simply for enrichment and for digging. So if you have a digging box, which is typically referred to in the gerbil community, but for hamsters, they can have a digging box. You just want it to be for Syrians at least, very deep so they can at least emerge themselves. Try to think about a glass container that's vertical, but keep it at an angle, especially if it's way too long or you just wanna get a big, tubby basin pretty much and let them just dig in it. And then next we're actually going to take a look at moss, but you can add safe moss. Now there's different moss out there. There's artificial moss, which is a big no-no. Don't be using artificial moss in your enclosures. And then there is real forest moss. Now, again, you could get this from the reptile section, but it is cool that they have their own packaging and it's very lightweight and convenient. So there's a Syrian hamster on it. I really, I love their photos. Like whoever is doing this, good job, very good job. I love it. So real and natural, all for your pets, five liters. Product features, all natural material, perfect for a natural theme cage setup, carefully dried, hand-picked moss, offers a sensual experience. Encourages burrowing and digging behaviors suitable for all rodent pets. 
and it says here 100% natural digging and nesting and scenery. Now that's another thing. This is nesting material. It's soft, it's fluffy. This would be great substitute for people who thought cotton was appropriate, but turns out no, 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 no. It's definitely not, especially since it can get wrapped and entwined inside of them. This right here is not gonna choke your hamster from the inside out. And this is natural to them, so it's able to easily be broken down. But I usually don't see hamsters pouching their bedding. I do see hamsters carrying bedding in their mouths before, kind of like with gerbils, but I have actually seen them pouch stuff like this. But it would be very interesting because all hamsters are different. They have different programming up there and Syrians have been documented to have complex moods and thoughts. So that's very interesting, isn't it? But there's some things that you guys could try out. Next, these are very close and related. They go side by side. And there's this thing I wanna to talk to you guys about with one of them in particular. So let's talk about sand, desert sand, bathing sand enrichment sand. Let me do a close up of the ham ham. And I love the fact that it's a Syrian hamster. Just keep doing that guys, because Syrians need so much more, so much more. People don't understand we haven't in a hundred years domesticated them yet. And it's still a work in progress. So they have such high needs, high prey instincts. Syrians need a lot of enrichment. So I'm actually very happy that they're using a Syrian as their advertisement because they do make appropriate bigger hides for Syrians, but they also make appropriate stuff for smaller animals such as the dwarf hamster or the Roburoski. Now this is six pounds, 100% natural, absorbs urine, which I don't know if they will absorb the smell of the urine, but it says it, it absorbs urine, so that's good. If you guys are familiar with play sand or aquarium sand, ah, uh, it doesn't really get rid of the smell and I actually don't like using sand like that as litter for Syrian hamsters because they urinate in it so much and it builds up so quickly and it can actually be very unsanitary. So you have to constantly be changing that out and or it's gonna smell. But this one right here says it removes oil. Now this is a great point, especially for dwarf hamsters where they must be cleaning themselves with a sand because it helps with cleaning. They roll around in it, they enjoy themselves. If you see them flip flopping in it, it's fine. But for Syrians, they also do the same thing where they just brush themselves in it. They dig and they brush and it's really cute to actually observe. Now with this one it says yellow. So I don't know if they're coming out with other colors or not, but this is natural yellow sand. There might be other sands out there that are a little bit darker in a red copper tone and it could depend on where they harvest this from. But this one says natural real desert sand, dust free, less mess, can breathe easily, soft, delicate, give a good thorough clean, remove skin oils from chinchillas, hamsters, gerbils, and degus. Now for chinchillas, they use dust baths, but that could be actually very dusty. And even though I am not a chinchilla owner, my understanding is chinchilla owners still use dust baths, but if you have more than one animal species that is really not keen to dust baths, people use sand instead. It seems to work just as effective as does best. Support healthy grooming, play, and relaxation. Now, before I move on to the next item that is very easy to compare with this one, I will say it does have mixed pumice. Now, people out there have said that pumice is actually what causes the respiratory issues in hamsters, and people are disappointed with it. Now, I am not an expert. I have not thoroughly looked into this, but I do see the comparisons here, and I'm wondering what Night Angel's thoughts are when using pumice here. So what we're gonna be doing, because it is a good idea to test it out, to get your opinions, and then to discuss with the community more about if you guys would be using this or not, we should actually see if it's dusty, because maybe it's a low percentage, maybe it's not much of a problem, respiratory issues, but if you notice that your hamster is constantly sneezing after using it for a long period of time, it would be a good idea to take it out. But hamsters in general, once they bathe themselves in sand of any sort, whether it be clean sand, aquarium sand, you name it, play sand, they can still start kind of sneezing in it because they accidentally got it up their nose because they're little dum-dums. They are, they really are. You gotta just be the parent to observe and to see if it's really causing distress. So we will be checking this out later. I'll be pouring it in a bowl. But next, they released something that I almost did not see. And I find the packaging to be not as impressive. It is 
toilet sand. It's not as pretty. And it is so easy to miss on Amazon. It does not catch your eye. At least it says toilet sand. So it lets you know that this is great for litter and it is a sand and it's not a dust bath. So it says 1.8 liters here. It says odor and moisture absorbent. That's what I'm looking for. Other sands do not absorb the odor. If this stuff absorbs odor, I am completely getting rid of children's play sand. Oh my God. And possibly reptile sand. Although I feel like reptile sand is a little bit better about absorbing the icky smells because if you ever had any sort of sand ever as a reptile, even though some reptiles shouldn't have sand, it does at least absorb the smell. But if it gets overly saturated, it's not good. But this says odor and moisture absorbent. Yeah. But then again, you might be wondering, well, they typically would use this for digging, but then for using as a litter afterwards, and then you have to change this out. So what would you be purchasing? Honestly, I feel like you should be getting this. This is, I feel like really great for dwarf hamsters, whereas I feel like this is definitely going to be my go-to for Syrians. So let's just continue. It says right here, remove oil, keep fluffy. So it's basically the same thing as that one. So this might be actually a lot better. It says low in dust, clean and safe. Now it doesn't actually say on the front what material it's made out of. So it's probably gonna say so on the website. I'm not gonna jump into it right now, but I decided Ugh, to keep it in that because I didn't want it leaking all over. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we can see like a side view of it. It's white, but let's just hope that it's nothing compared to dust. So let's go and put them in bowls now. I have two bowls right here. These are dog bowls, which is appropriate for Syrian hamsters. The size and the depth is perfectly fine. You can find them at the Dollar Tree, but these are what we typically would use. I do have the Night Angel dishes. However, they need to be cleaned. They're in my to clean box at the rescue. So I'm going to be cleaning them later today or tomorrow. So we just have these for now. Just keep in mind that sometimes when you use your sand, it kind of retains the smell even in containers such as these. So just be mindful of that. So let's put the toilet sand in here. Let's put the sand sand in here. Ooh, that's pretty. Feeling. Ooh, that is very nice. And did you guys see any dust? I can kind of on my end see a little bit of dust as I poured it but it's not super dusty and I like that because even though there is sterilized children's play sand, it's still rather dusty. So even when you pour it, there's dust, but this feels much like the aquarium sand, if you guys are familiar with that, and the reptile sand, so it actually feels really good. However, look at that. Do you see this? It's leaving residue on me. I don't like that. I actually don't. I don't want my hamsters to be changing colors now. So I'm, I'm kind of a little disappointed. Is there any instructions to have to clean it? Do I have to like rinse it out? I mean, it should already be clean. It says low in dust, clean and safe. Well, shoot. So I'm going to put that over here and then let's do the sand in this one. Oof, that pours so nicely. Oh my gosh. I do not see as I poured any dust. So that is a good sign. Not with this hand because this is dirty and feels very chalky. Wow, I feel very chalky right now. Let's try this one out. See if I get anything on my hands. Ooh, that feels so nice. Oh, I wanna be at the beach. I really wanna be at the beach. Wow, that feels great. Love it. Oh, I'm seeing dust as I'm doing this. I don't like that. Let's see. Um, it's not as bad as this hand, but you guys, I don't know if you can see, I am getting, at least with my fingertips, you can kind of see as I put them in here, that um, there is definitely material being left on, on myself. Now that is very common, especially when it comes to sand. So if it's not too bad, you probably don't have to do anything. But if it's a very big problem, I would probably say rinse it and or bake it some more. But yeah, that's not bad. I'll say this isn't bad. I'm not seeing too much dust either. It is very fine though. Definitely very fine. After feeling with my hands, I mean, I'm sure they're both safe, but just I don't want to get residue just left over on my hand. And then I'll let you guys see it up closer. Isn't that so beautiful? 
but I just don't know what the material is for this one. But I would like to see if this does absorb and controls um, ammonia a lot better because that's the biggest problem at the rescue. We have so many hamsters right now and it would just be nice if we didn't have to have that issue where you walk into the room and smell ammonia and it's because it's not being covered by your sand, but they're peeing in your sand. So I want to show you guys the dirt and I want to actually take it out and pour it in here. That way we can kind of just take a look. This is so light and fluffy. And look at that nice, beautiful color. That's a nice color right there. I can feel it, it feels good. I have reptiles, so I actually use coconut fiber quite often. But that is what it looks like. And that is what the moss looks like. And it's already so green, I really like that. It's very beautiful. And then what you basically do for just enrichment is it's just like a decorating piece. You can put it on top of heights, put it in little corners, put it in between the Bendy Bridge bars, in between walls and stuff. You can make little pathways out of it. This stuff actually looks really, really good. So they did a good job with the moss. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video of the new introduction to the Night Angel sand and nesting material line and what they have. And I do like it. I want to say I really like the cocoa peat. I like the forest moss. The desert sand I'm actually kind of impressed with. However, I just don't know about the litter, but if it claims to absorb, I would at least like to try it out. However, keep in mind that there's the mixed pumice in this one and whether or not you want to use it, it's up to you. I would think Night Angel would do a little bit of their research first before coming out with something that is very dangerous for animals because as you guys are aware, they definitely take into consideration the animals of which they're making products for because you're probably familiar with KT's marketing scheme of, oh, we're not making products for the animals and we're making them for you guys. Night Angel's like, move on over. We're making them for the animals. This is what animals need. And if you want an animal such as this, this is what you should be looking at when it comes to their care. Kudos to you, Night Angel. Um, but what are your thoughts? Leave them down below if you would be using the sand, maybe even the toilet sand. I might actually clean this or bake it. I feel like it's just very chalky, but it might actually help out with maintaining their coats. I just wanna know your thoughts. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to become a part of the Munchkin family, please subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy. I'll see you guys around in the next video. Bye-bye.